The National Tobacco Control Act 2015 outlines measures required for effective tobacco control in Nigeria, which includes the establishment of tobacco control fund to be resourced by budgetary allocations, licenses and penalties from violators. While implementation of the provisions of the Act has begun, its effectiveness has been hampered by limited funding and administrative issues. We are infractions are discovered, we expect the government to impose severe penalties on uh, tobacco companies that are not complying with the licensing regime in Nigeria. These advocates are happy about the increase in tobacco control budget from 4.7 million naira in 2023 to 10 million naira this year. No, 10 million naira in today's economy is a drop in the ocean. So much more goes into tobacco control. So we are not even putting enough money to, to control the use, to educate people, to you know, implement the law. And we are also not putting enough funding to take care of the diseases that will come out of it. So it's a two-way loss. And the only person that, the only institution that is gaining is the tobacco industry. We have seen cases when funds are allocated in the budget, but at the end of the day are not released. I want to plead that this fund should be remitted according to the National Tobacco Control Act 2015 to the Tobacco Control Fund for proper utilization. They are, however, worried that it is still insufficient, even as questions as to where the fund is domiciled and when to stop over dependence on donor funding have remained unanswered. If Nigerian government does not um, make concerted effort to budget for tobacco control and to fund it. We are afraid when the donors pull out what happens um, concerning tobacco control in Nigeria. Tobacco consumption is said to be the leading cause of deaths globally. And for a country where over 70% of health costs are borne by the people, a lifestyle change away from tobacco intake will improve the health of the citizens and prevent needless deaths in Nigeria.